Hey guys, Dr. Chris Heimlich here, and today we're going to be talking about low thyroid and weight gain, inability to lose weight no matter how much you exercise, no matter how little you eat, and what you try to do. Unfortunately, it's very common symptom associated with low thyroid. People always wonder, hey, why is that? Well, here, here's a conversation that one of my patients had with, uh, with her doctor. Uh, she went into a, um, a specialist, complained of the low thyroid yet again, and they were checking her TSH to see what's going on, and they said the TSH was within uh, normal limits uh, because of her medication. Uh, she was diagnosed with hypothyroidism, and she was complaining, I, I can't lose any weight no matter what I'm doing. I'm exercising, you know, six days a week. I'm putting in an hour a day. Uh, I'm eating like a bird. What can I do? I mean, what, what, what I need to do? And the doctor told her, or said to her, did you ever see anyone come out of a concentration camp that was overweight? So she said, what? Did I hear you right? He said, yeah. Have, have you ever seen anyone come out of a concentration camp that was overweight? Uh, she's like, no, but, but, but that can't be healthy. Is, is that what you're suggesting for me? I mean, what, what kind of bedside manner was that? I mean... I was absolutely flabbergasted whenever she said that. And her husband was actually here doing the consult with her. And I was like, hey, what did you do? He's like, man, I wasn't in the room. He goes, if I was in the room, I may have just, I may have just decked the guy. Not that I'm condoning that type of uh, behavior, but uh, wow, it's certainly inappropriate to suggest to a patient to starve themselves in order to lose weight. Now, there's a lot of reasons why you may not be able to lose weight whenever you're having hypothyroid type of symptomatologies. And what you need to do is basically get down and see what's going on with this person, what's going on with their endocrinology, not just what's happening with their TSH or their thyroid stimulating hormone, but let's take a look at blood sugar levels. Let's see what those guys are doing. Let's see what, what their adrenal levels are doing. Uh, let's take, take a look and see what type of inflammation burden that they may be having going on in through there. Um, because those type of things are critically important to enable a patient not just to lose weight, but also to be able to get rid of some of the other symptoms that are associated with having uh, low thyroid. You know the ones, you know, it's, it's not just the weight gain, it's trouble sleeping, uh, decreased energy, brain fog, all of those different type of things that are going on, the hair falling out, the dry nails, all that different stuff. So the inability to lose weight it is a very significant symptom for a lot of women out there, and men too, uh, that have thyroid issues. And I'll be the first to admit, I was a little insensitive to that um, you know, up until the last maybe four years, three, four years, because I was more excited when the patient would come in and say, hey, I don't have IBS symptoms anymore, or hey, I'm able to sleep throughout the night, or um, I'm able to go do things with my family. I'm able to go on a vacation that I wasn't able to go on before because I'm feeling so good now. You know, those are the type of things that really got me excited, I guess, I was, for whatever reasons. But anyway, it was invariable because they would come in and say, hey, you know, uh, I lost 8 pounds. I lost 12 pounds. So my excitement was more for things other than the weight loss. But it took enough people coming in here telling me that... Uh, you know, first thing they walk in is like, hey, I've lost eight pounds since I saw you. Or, hey, I lost 16 pounds or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, okay, that's awesome. How about the other stuff? How about IBS? Do you have that anymore? Oh, no, I don't have that anymore. But I lost eight pounds. So it's, it's one of those things that can be very exciting when it happens. And also, too, I also try to remind all our patients, it's not just about losing weight. It's also about losing subcutaneous fat, and also increasing lean muscle mass. Because most of our patients will agree that there comes a time when they don't lose any more weight, but their body gets smaller. And what that has to do with increasing lean muscle mass and decreasing subcutaneous fat. So if you're out there suffering, frustrated, not depressed, but frustrated, and you can have a little depression too sometimes when that goes on, because you're not able to lose weight, and you have thyroid type of issues, there is hope out there. What you need to do is find a doctor that's going to be able to look at your blood sugar, your adrenal, your GI, 
um, and how the rest of your body is functioning. Look at uh, vitamin D levels, all those different type of things. Check out your inflammation. Make sure there's no underlying cause to cause extra inflammation going on in your body, like possible uh, a parasite or a bacterial infection, something like that. Go to someone like that and get checked out. Get a good consultation and examination. And have them do a full blood workup to see everything going on. Not just your thyroid, your TSH, and not just your thyroid panel, but everything that goes on. Have them check out your immune system too. Because as I know it sounds like a broken record, number one reason to have thyroid issues is because of an autoimmune condition. It's not even a problem with the thyroid. The thyroid's made to look bad. That's because it's getting attacked. I'm Dr. Heimlich. Thank you for listening.